Okay, that was a couple of days of day hiking in the Grand Tetons and Jenny Lake in the middle of July 2020, and we couldn't have asked for better weather. The days were in the mid to upper 70s. The nights got a little bit chilly just because I'm a Floridian, but the weather was just phenomenal. No, I'm currently not in Wyoming, but the photograph behind me is the one that I took on that beautiful mid-morning, and it's at the same vantage point where Ansel Adams took his iconic photo of the Tetons and the Snake River. Incidentally, it was back in 1940s that the National Park Service commissioned Ansel Adams to take over 200-something photos of our great treasures. So if you get a chance, check out his work. Traveling during the middle of a pandemic was definitely interesting and out of the norm, but it was easy and not even an inconvenience at all. In fact, it turned out to be somewhat of a blessing in disguise because for peak summer travel season here in America, the crowds weren't there as it normally would have been. My younger brother called me up and said, hey, uh, airfare is low, accommodations are low, rental cars low, uh, you wanna hit the Tetons? I was like, yeah. So hiking and traveling with my brother was a great treat. Even though it was my first time being in Wyoming, he had already been both to Yellowstone and the Tetons before, and what a tour guide. He pretty much planned everything for me. I was also fortunate because I used a great deal of his video clips making this one. So if you can bring somebody who's been to the area, bring them along, they're a great asset. With the exception of the Jenny Lake hike, most of the hikes are short, quick trips from the car, so there's no need to bring a lot of gear with you. I bring a small backpack with just snack and water, and that's it. For the longer hikes, like Jenny Lake, I bring a larger backpack because I pack a bit more gear, as well as bring extra water and food and snacks. So it was a two-pack system, and it worked. The two hikes we did to Hidden Falls and Inspiration Point are fairly easy and moderate hikes. So take your time and enjoy the scenery. You'll absolutely fall in love with the beauty. The in and out 1.8 mile hike to Inspiration Point starts off at about 6,800 feet and you climb for about 400 to reach 7,200. The hike is very easy and doable even though it's heavily trafficked there are just endless views throughout the whole hike. If you're up for more hiking, beyond Inspiration Point, there is a canyon trailhead right about there that is like a valley that you can hike for more breathtaking views. We went about another mile before we turned back. There is actually two loop trails that circles the whole Teton Mountains that I'd love to do in the future, possibly in 2021, but it's about 45 to 50 mile hike with considerable elevation gain, 10,000 plus elevation gain. So I gotta work up to it, but if any of you are interested in doing it with me, leave me a comment and let's see what we can do. So that was my quick experience with the Tetons and I absolutely love it. I hope to be back and I hope you guys check it out too. So if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments for me. And as always, thanks for the like, share, and subscribe and I'll catch you out there in the trails.